Enter the Clones of Bruce had its European premiere at Fright Fest 2023 at the Cineworld IMAX Leicester Square. The screen was big, probably too big. My airline was at the subtitles and found myself constantly craning my neck, but it didn't spoil my enjoyment of the documentary as it was fantastic. Well produced with a wide showcase of the sprawling genre, with over 200 of them and highlighting how bizarre they got, especially after the release of Game of Death. Enter the Clones of Bruce highlights the unintentionally hilarious moments of many of the Bruce Bloitation films without looking down at the subjects and without looking down at the fans of the media. The documentary also does a great job of humanising its subjects, especially Ho Chung Dao. I hadn't seen many interviews with him, and he comes across as a very down-to-earth and funny gentleman. He describes how he went through a bit of an identity crisis after leaving the Bruce Bloitation business in 1982, I actually watched this last one, Dragon Force, before watching the doc. Not great, but better than I was expecting. But he thankfully bounced back, back and found his passion for orthopedic medicine in the following years. In fact, all of the fake Bruces interviewed apart from Bruce Lur seemed to regret their involvement with the subgenre somewhat, whether it resulting in the neglect of their own identity or even their own families. Ho Chung Dao was especially sickened at how he was literally billed as Bruce Lee in some foreign territories, especially Germany. But by the end, they seem to have reconciled with the fact that in the 10 year span of the genre, there was some benefit taking part in one of Hong Kong action cinema's zeniths. By the way, I agreed with Ho when he said he didn't look much like Bruce Lee. Only Dragon Lee comes close, but he's such a hyper exaggeration of the real Lee's physique. And Bruce Le doesn't look like him facially either, despite doing an overall good impression and having a similar small and wiry physique. During the height of the Bruce Bloitation era, there was still one more Bruce Lee film yet to be shown to the public, and the bungling of the 1978 version of Game of Death was covered, along with the many terrible imitators claiming to be the real completion attempt of the film. Andre Morgan forgets about Game of Death 2 when saying that the first was the only Golden Harvest film that used doubles for Bruce Lee. And missing out the 1980 martial arts classic was, I felt, the only glaring omission in the documentary. However, it does appropriately get across how terrible the 1978 film is, which I appreciated. There is a broad church of famous martial actors all over the film, and it was a treat to see genre legends like Angela Mao, Mars, Philip Coe, and Bruce Lung all on the big screen again, even in the context of interview and archive footage. Enter the Clones of Bruce is probably my favourite 50th anniversary related project released thus far, being a documentary on a topic so hysterical and bizarre you could get the impression that it almost writes itself. But there was enough genuine pathos and fervent geekery from talking heads like Bruce Noah and Michael Worth that remained engaging throughout. I look forward to seeing Bruce Lung's rigor mortis erection on VOD in the coming months.